they figured out that it really was about four things. Those, that those four concepts, uh, the storytelling, collaboration, um, deepening relationships and measuring impact where we really felt it was about engaging staff in conversations and storytelling about our cause and about their relationship to it that could help them find meaning in the, in the work they do and become more cause driven. Uh, we dove right into an effort that he was leading uh, with our Group X instructor and that's when we brought them in as um, we required them to attend a training. I think we had 400 of these folks in our organization, and Andrew led those trainings one at a time. Uh, and we uh, we introduced them to this idea of storytelling, used the big picture deck with them, and then asked them to give us three minutes of their class time to share stories of impact and to connect people through uh, relationship building activities in, in their group X. And folks really responded well to that. Um, and the other thing that we did that has borne a lot of fruit for us was we created a Facebook group for these Group X leaders and we invited them into that so that they could share ideas, kind of built a community of practice online using a free social media tool like Facebook. Um, that did so well that we realized, gosh, what if we took that same idea and applied it to all of our staff? Um, and that's when we created the Because We Are the YMCF Central Ohio website. We've got you know over 300 staff on that, uh, on that group and it has become kind of the equivalent of our blogging mechanism. It's an internal story sharing tool that our staff are able to upload videos, stories, um, write, share uh, in writing the stories of things that are happening in our why, and it's become our storytelling vehicle uh, for, for the YMCA of Central Ohio, and that's been a really great asset. One of the things we're learning from the, the folks at Sear Analytics is that uh, a sense of meaning in our, in our staff is the number one driver of impact through all the correlations that they're doing. So our, it seems that our initial instincts with the big picture deck and using that as a vehicle for eliciting stories of, of impact and of, of, of why, why, why work for the why, that that has um, you know, now been borne out in the, in the mathematics that that really is the most important thing we can do for our staff in terms of eventual impact with members and, and participants in our programs. Use the big picture deck um, to, to engage your staff and volunteers and even your members in, in speaking passionately and from the heart about why they either want to work for the Y, join the Y, volunteer for the Y, um, what the Y has done for them, um, and do that in small group settings and do it often. Um, that's, that's really been the fruit for us. We, something else that we did that we're, we're seeing bear fruit is we took all the technical aspects of new leader orientation and we put that into an online learning environment that we borrowed from uh, and copied from the Rochester Y. So before they get start on the job, our staff go through the child abuse prevention and the bloodborne pathogens, and they learn our values and our voice and you know our, our facilities all in an online setting. And and we now spend 90 minutes once a month, uh, led by either myself or Lori Leist, our, our vice president of human resources. Andrew comes to everyone, and we spend the entire 90 minutes talking about what giving means, what community means and what is the impact that folks are hoping to have by, by coming to work for us. And that has changed the way we onboard staff. You know, their first, one of their first training experiences with us is in a room of 30 or 40 people having a, a real heartfelt cause conversation in which they make, literally make meaning of the work that they're about to do, which we hope, knock on wood, sets us you know, on a, an upward trajectory in terms of that metric when we look at our staff in, in six months or so.